Good morning. Better late than never. My apologies. Crumbs, I haven't been this late for ages. Right, well, good morning. And um, if you have been sitting there waiting for me to join you, um, hopefully you will now be able to tune in in the next few minutes. I, um, I found it technically impossible to download um, uh, prayers uh, and then upload them to YouTube last week so I'm hoping for better things this week um, but I'm not promising so if you do have friends who um, tune in to use a better phrase um, via YouTube yet later in the day do please let them know that I haven't forgotten them and, and it's just technical and Facebook being um, slightly frustrating for reasons best known to itself Good morning, Barbara. Well done. You were patient. Thank you very much. Um, our prayers this morning, morning prayer, will include Psalm 5 and Hebrews, uh, passage from Hebrews, which starts with Hebrews 14. No, it starts with Hebrews 4, verse 14, and then runs through to um, Hebrews 5, verse 10. Right, hopefully that's that's got that out of the way um, we've got um, uh, a quite a famous passage but not a particularly easy passage so I'm not promising I'm going to be able to mine it um, for gold this morning but we will do with it what we can so let's take a moment of relative quiet I have opened the window because um, it's a bit stuffy in the house this morning O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so with the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Lord Consider my lamentation Hearken to the voice of my crying My God, my King For to you I make my prayer In the morning, Lord You will hear my voice Early in the morning I make my appeal to you And look up for you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work, work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre and they flatter with their tongue. 
Punish them, O oh God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them, let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exalt you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Lord, protect us from the deceit of flattering tongues and lying lips. Give us words of life which speak your truth and bless your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so Hebrews uh, chapter 4 beginning at verse 14 and rolling on into chapter 5. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weakness, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Every high priest chosen charge of things pertaining to, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward, since he himself is subject to weakness. And because of this, he must offer sacrifice for his own sins as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honour, but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but it was appointed by one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, you are priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. So there's a, a lot um, in our uh, readings this morning, an awful lot. I think the thing uh, that chimed for me is it, it often does it sort of harks things on a Monday morning, hark back to what we've been sharing on a Sunday. And I'm guessing that um, at St Barnabas as well, at St Mary's, uh, we were looking yesterday at uh, the John passage of Jesus turning over the tables and driving out the um, profiteers from the outer courts of the temple. Um, and there was a lot of, of temple talk um, in there. And the thing that strikes me from Psalm 5, except I now can't see it, which is frustrating, I am in Psalm 5. No, I'm not in Psalm 5. That's why I can't see it. Foolish girl. Um, 
But as for me, um, it's best seven in my version, uh, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Um, one of the things we were thinking about at St Mary's yesterday was the fact that actually with the new covenant of Jesus Christ, which he was inaugurating in that that action, um, well, his presence in the world, but um, was particularly clear in his actions in the temple on that occasion where he turned over the tables, was the change in emphasis between um, God uh, being uh, a, play, uh, a person, a, a presence in a holy place, that you had to go and, and visit, that you had to pay sacrifice for in uh, and, and from that to the sort of relationship we have with Jesus today uh, through his death and resurrection we are offered this very personal relationship where we uh, recognize Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling within us we are God's temple we are now God's temple and his presence is with us and we can um, bow down we can worship God with our lives in a very close way because we recognize his presence with us he is our high priest if we move forward to uh, the Hebrews passage um, this person set aside by God as God's son to be a priest forever someone who had been called very specifically for a purpose someone who was tested and yet without sin which no other priest of uh, either the old covenant or the new covenant uh, was had had achieved and that uh, we can approach this high priest who dwells within us because of his grace and mercy which comes through very clearly in that first paragraph in uh, the end of Hebrews 4 um, let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness and so that we might receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Jesus Christ was the perfect sacrifice for sin, but he also dwells with us. And we have that opportunity to come before his throne in our lives, through our lives, worshipping him and acknowledging him as uh, the one from whom we receive grace, mercy and forgiveness. And so we respond to God by trusting him, by trusting his presence with us in Jesus Christ. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul my God in you I trust and so we say together the Benedictus blessed be the Lord the God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty saviour born of the house of his servant David through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. going to use some intercessions this morning um, that I have used before. Um, I found them during the pandemic on the um, Church of England app, uh, which uh, is how many of us um, pray morning prayer, evening prayer, Compline, um, during the course of the day, if you haven't found it already. Um, I thoroughly recommend it because it is both um, text and uh, certainly for morning prayer there is a recording. I think they're working on evening prayer. Anyway, it's a form of intercession um, that I first heard there. If you're sitting at home or at work or wherever you are and you want to uh, respond with the responses, um, when I say faithful God, the response is glorify your name. We pray for God's faithfulness to be known in our world. Faithful God, glorify your name. In a world of change and hope, of fear and adventure, Faithful God, glorify your name. In human rebellion and obedience, in our seeking, faithful God, in the common life of our society, in prosperity and need, faithful God, glorify your name. As your church proclaims your goodness in words and action, faithful God, glorify your name. Among our friends and in our homes, faithful God, glorify your name. In our times of joy, in our days of sorrow, Faithful God, glorify your name. In our strengths and triumphs, in our weakness and at our death, faithful God, glorify your name. In your saints in glory and on the day of Christ's coming, faithful God, glorify your name. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect this week, Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me. Um, you may have had some internet glitches. I just kept going um, and it, it came back to me each time it tried to fall over. No idea what's going on there. Not a clue. Um, and I will now go off and see if I can make this download from Facebook so I can put it on YouTube. Go well. God bless.